Greetings, I am Arrow vs. Voice, and today we'll be discussing Gotham Knights Season 1, Episode 10, Poison Peel. So the episode begins with the group trying to help understand what's happening to Turner, and then Harper reveals that Turner has radioactive poisoning. Ooh, that's not good. Now, let's go to the... What do we call them? The secondary characters. So, Brody finds his dad's Court of Owl mask. And Harvey watches the video left by his alternate personality. We also then learn that his personality comes out due to these medicine pills that help him emerge. Yes. Now, back to the group. So, Stephanie wants to take Turner to a hospital to treat his poisoning, but the others disagree because that, that they'll just arrest him, which means everything he's fought for just disappears. Now, while Turner is lying in bed, he and Carrie have a little conversation and Carrie tells Turner she took the missing pages from the journal which states how Bruce blames himself for Turner's parents death I mean I don't get that how can Bruce blame himself it's not like he killed Turner's parents Gotham needed the Batman it's not your fault crime did you didn't create crime crime was already there now Harper and Stephanie, yeah, Harper is back being cold to Stephanie, only because she's jealous. I mean, she kind of has a reason, she, she kind of has a reason to be jealous and to not be jealous. I'll explain that later. Now, the only way to save Turner is with a blood transfusion. Which is going to be hard considering his blood type is negative O. Yes. Now, back to Brody. When Brody discovers the mask, he tells Stephanie. And she decides to tell him everything. The truth about his father. And let's go to Duella who decides to be an angel and get Turner his favorite soup. And she also blames herself for his capture. Duella is really starting to be a good person. She's letting the light inside that darkness. That's just, that's sweet. Now, back to Harvey, who is having a conversation with himself in his mind. Yes, it's not, it, which, all right, never mind. Anyway. Harper and Cullen, yes, they talk about whether they're staying after they clear their names. And then they learn that Turner has 24 hours before he expires. Ooh, which doesn't leave him a lot of time. And we also learn that the court knows about Harvey's personality for some re for somehow. And they figure out a way to bring him out using the little music. Yes, you see, the court is trying to make Harvey believe that his personality is doing the killing when it's really the court just trying to frame him. Yes, you see, his personality really just wants to protect Harvey like any other personality. Except for Magenta. No, she didn't want to protect. Well, she kind of did. Uh, it's it's hard to explain my thoughts. Anyway, yes. So Brody's going to get some footage that will clear the group's name. And while the team is going to get Turner's blood, Stephanie and Turner share a kiss. But apparently, it, that kiss was just, it was bland. It didn't have feelings. Which means those two are really just friends. So, Harper, you have no reason to be jealous. 
Now, the cops, oh yes, the cops managed to find the group's lair. You see, the court knew that Turner would get radiation poisoning and they could track it. Yes. And while the group is trying to abandon ship, Harvey learns that his personality killed his father and that his personality wants to be in full control. So while the group is trying to escape, Harvey and his personality duke it out. We'll get to that later. So the group manages to escape while Stephanie stays behind and, you know, covers their trail. And Carrie goes to her mother to save Turner. And it, and it worked. Turner is alive and well. Now, back to Harvey. My followers, I'm sorry to say this, but I believe Harvey's personality killed Harvey. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Now, Brody, yes. So Brody tells his mother about the court and she kills him, revealing that she is a member of the Court of Owls. She is the queen of the court. Ooh, this just gets bad and badder. But there is some good news. I'll get to that now. The team returns to the lair after the cops clear out. And Turner and Duella have a make-out session. Finally! <laughs> it's about damn time. Excuse my language, my boss. I'm just so happy. And Brody, yes. Brody is resurrected, meaning he is to be the new talent. Ooh, what does this mean for him and Stephanie? Will Brody become the new talent? We'll have to wait till next week to find out. And until then, I am Arrow vs. Voice, and I am here to help.